and that's because whereas the NPP is fielding Elder Emmanuel Tobin as their candidate ahead of the 2024 general elections, the NDC also has Emmanuel Adote Alote as their parliamentary candidate. So it's a very heated, um, you know, environment at the moment. But we are here for community manifesto, and we want all the community members to join us here to tell us what their problems are. Anya Sotom, per the numbers that were recorded in the 2024 registration exercise, we're told there are about 144,000 and more of the people who have registered hoping to vote in the 2024 general elections. And so that means that it has one of the highest voters if you look at all the constituencies across the country. This is a safe NPP spot. Since Anya Sotom was carved out of the wager constituency, they've always maintained dominance within this constituency. Back in 2012, where the Foreign Affairs Minister, Honorable Shirley Ayokobotre, uh, won the seat, and then she stayed on for two terms. In 2020, she decided not to run. And so Dr. Adumar Kukisi was the one who took over, represented the party, and won for them. But in 2024, the NPP decided to field another candidate in the person of Elder Emmanuel Tobinko. And so he will be going up against our NDC's Emmanuel Adote Alote. All the other parties will also field candidates, but as we all know per the numbers, the NPP has maintained about 60% of the votes, both in presidential and parliamentary elections. But what really are their problems? Just a few days ago, community members decided to block the main Awoshi Road. And that was because they were protesting against dysfunctioning traffic lights, which they say had caused um, two people to be knocked down just a few days before they decided to demonstrate. They've given the authorities one week to fix the traffic lights and all the street lights. Otherwise, they were going to escalate the protest into something else. We wait to see, but let's hear from them and see what their problems are. Ago! Mipacho, please, please, I beg you. We are coming to have a conversation, okay? If you make noise, we won't hear anything. And I want everyone to have a voice. So I beg you, let's maintain the peace so that everyone's voice can be heard, okay? I beg you, thank you very much. So I'm seated here with some community executives. I wanna hear their names and of course the positions they occupy. And right after that, we'll get into the problems of the day. So I'll start off with this side. Hello, sir. If you can speak into the microphone. Hello. Okay. Hello. What's your name? And do you? My name is Edem Asamoa. I'm a unit committee member okay. in Anya West. Anya West. Okay. Yes, where exactly where the problems are? The traffic lights. That situation. Okay. I'm a unit committee member. For the assembly. Committee. Yes, please. Okay. And. I say I'm a unit committee member, but as it stands now, I've not been sworn into office. Why? Uh, you should ask the MC. Why when? Okay. It's not done when did you have to take up this role, and why have you? I mean, uh, and how the many election was days in December last year? Uh huh. December 19th, till date. December 19th, 2023. Year, yes. The assembly members have been sworn into office. Most of them are here. I have the youth organizer for MPP. Okay. Who is an assembly member. He has been sworn into office. Uh huh. But as a unit committee member since 2010. I've been a unit committee member till date. I've not been sworn into office. Have they given you reasons why? As and now, they've not given us any reason. It's still hanging. And we don't know the reason why. And, and you see, yes, the workout, ask yourself, under the Oath Act, is the MC supposed to swear anybody in? They should tell us. Well, you are telling me now that the, the MCA has not sworn you in. So yes, the, what, no, what has the, the assembly has not sworn us into assembly, office. assembly, okay. Yes, under the Oath Act, there are people who are supposed to swear people in. So we want to ask the legal luminaries, under the Oath Act, is the MC can he swear people into office? So they should answer us. Now, let me come back to my issue. Now, so the zonal councils are not working. So when okay. you come into our communities, taxes that people are supposed to pay, the rubbish collection, everything is down. Everything, no, nothing is working. Now, the issue has to do with our traffic lights. Okay. Now, for some time now, for almost a year, our traffic lights are not working. When you get to school junction, markets, the traffic lights are not working. And before that thing happened, the previous week, vehicles had knocked down three persons. And so, the other, the other, the following week, 
He knocked down one guy called Onuya. Uh, former uh, PM, what is your problem? Please make your point so I yes. can go to them. So he knocked down Onuya. When he knocked down Onuya, we saw that, look, we had reported this problem long overdue. The assembly knows about this. All the authorities here, the urban roads, this is just their office. We've uh -huh. reported to them, we've written letters to them. The associations have done that. Nothing, Nothing has been done. Okay. Has been done. I'll let you hold on with this so All that right. everybody else can also introduce themselves okay. and then we'll go. So if I can just hear, is there any unit committee member or assembly no, member? No, I'm not a unit committee member. Okay. But uh, my name is Patrick Akwa and uh, I'm a concerned citizen okay. of this and I stay at Elanga Woshi. Okay. So I'm also going to talk about things that are pertaining around our place. All right. Then the deplorable state of that road. All right. So that is why I'm here. All right. Thank you very much. What's your name, sir? Just for those who are in front, for the committee members, if I may, or the leaders of the party. My name is Raf Afetogbo. I'm a deputy communication officer for Anyaso Tom. For Anyaso Tom. Yes. For the NDC for the or NDC. for the assembly? For the NDC. For the NDC. Yes. All right. Let me come to this side. Hello, sir. What's yeah, your name? I, I, my name is Honorable George Nana Dudako. Uh, three times assembly member and a former presiding member. Okay. I am extremely happy today. My brothers on the other side were urging you on that we should speak English. Thanks to Nana Dudako's free education. Now, at least Ghanaians are bold to come out to say that we should speak English. Thanks to Nana Dudako's free education. Unfortunately, my brother... Okay, please make your point. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Please carry on. Yeah. Unfortunately, my brother were just uh, saying this out of uh, 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 any law. I don't know, he has been assembly member, a unit committee member for three times, whilst I've also been an assembly member for three times. I don't remember the last time the unit committee members were sworn in by any uh, judge of any court. What I do know, what I do know is that in all cases, the last time he was a unit committee member, I swore him in. So I don't know why today he's here uh, muddying the waters. Unfortunately for him, on the day of the swearing in, he, he boycotted it. How can you swear me to office? That is the, that is the most of the NDC. I, I swore him. You think he he's a party it. Pro Last four years, he, a he knows. As a you swore him to office. I swore him in. Where? So I'm surprised Where? Adam is saying this. I, I, I am his boss, he knows. Which boss? And I am happy. Which boss? I am happy that you today he won the different parties to swore him in. Unfortunately for him, unfortunately, yes, he boycotted it on the day of the swearing in. He boycotted it on the day of the swearing. You can ask him. He was rather quoting unnecessary law, a law that is unfounded, a law that cannot be found in any airline. And he's here talking. I don't know. Yes, you should ask why. Yes, thank you very much. Please, please, let us have, let us have an intellectual discourse, please. You see? You have not benefited from free SHS. So, because we are speaking English, you are making noise. Now, let me, let, me come back to the issue. let me come back to the issue. I want to make it clear that an assembly member, I want to make it clear that an assembly member cannot swear we, the unit committee. But I saw you in four years you ago as never, a presiding member. Never. Please, so, let, me so, come, let, me, let me address the matter. So, per the law, who is supposed to swear you in? It's a magistrate. Okay. So, for all, since 2010, that Can he quote any member, law to, uh, to, to back member. what he's saying? It's the magistrate that swears as in, not an assembly member. So this is, this is not your first time. Where in the airline Hold can on. you find this? Hold on. So this is not your first time as a unit committee no, member. No, since 2010. But he brought up that he should tell every you. Every time you've taken up the position. It's a magistrate. But he says he swore you he in. I swore him in. I have been an assembly member for three consecutive times. Is it his job? Is it the job of assembly member to swear you need to no, I want my empty, brother to empty quote empty the, the airline. Most tell me where, okay. where okay. in the airline that okay. the okay. unit committee member are, were, are supposed to be sworn in by a magistrate. It should okay. tell me the uh, airline. That at, at, when you are sworn into office, there are documents. There are two documents. There's nothing like that the in it. The oath of secrecy. When you sign, it goes back to the magistrate. The magistrate endorses, and in his back is stamp on it. It is never it is true. Where in okay. the airline? It has okay. never been done. Okay. He doesn't know what he's talking about. All right. All right. The assembly. Let's hold on. The assembly has Please documents to prove what I'm saying. 
And in this there's an ally. There's an ally. There's an ally. That coffin that sent to wisdom. Put in the ally. There is a nine places. Put in the nine places. That is it. Cross check this. We will cross check this and correct it. Thank you. Thank you. Let let your other members also introduce themselves so that we can go. I'm here. I'll let you speak. Hold on. Okay. I am here with my sister Lisa, a beautiful Lisa. And then I have my brother Albert Manakunsi. Are they members? Do they occupy they are in the any community? Position? They are members of the community. This All is the right. community watch. All Thank right. you. So beyond that, okay. Now let's get into the problems within this constituency. Yes. That's why we are here. For the law, we'll check it and follow up and see what can be done. Please my producers are working on it. But let's get into the problems yes. within this constituency. Now, hold the on. He wanted to land on the um, traffic lights. Yeah, the street lights. So the we are light. starting the problems now. Everybody will get to talk, so please, the, when they are talking, kindly reduce the noise so that we can all hear. If they say something and it's a lie, you will hear so that you can also come and say what you know is the truth. I beg you. Yes, please. You are uh, talking about the traffic lights. Yeah, the Let's traffic go. lights. The street lights on the stretch are not working. From Awashi Junction or from Awashi where? Awashi demonstrated. So later they came to fix this. Uh -huh. But after Onyana's Calvary coming, yeah. right down to after NIC, uh -huh. our street lights are not working. Now we complained and they told us that it has to do with the transformer and then the load. So if you come in the evening, nothing. And the police are aware, the MTTD, they are all aware. So this problem happened. When I was demonstrated for some time, later we saw contractors come onto the road. They took away our batteries from the solar. There's a solar panel there. So they took them away. That has been the end of our situation. So till date, as we speak, even when we demonstrated, it was the next day that they brought a policewoman to direct traffic. Mm -hmm. That has been the end. We don't see them. How long was the policewoman there for? Is she still there? No, no, no. Just that when we demonstrated, the next Just morning, the next morning. The next morning she was there. Okay. And in the evening, because the place is so dark, for that one, I can speak for the police. If they are even standing there, a car will hit them. But it, they wear reflectors, oh, don't see, they? You see, when you look at the topography, how the road is designed, you see, there are hills... Yeah. They are downstream, so yeah. a driver might not see you mm -hmm. when you are coming. So if they are even there, they could have problems. So that has been the situation of the area. The place is completely dark in the evening, and then once they speed off, anything happens. They knock any pedestrian, and we can count it. When you look at, if you ask the urban routes, when they assess all the highways here in Accra, the highest prone is this place. The death we record, and the MTTD they are aware. Okay. Uh, all right, we'll get to that because I'll come to um, you know the assembly to respond to it. But please pass it on. Please if assembly you're... is assembly is an assembly member here to respond. Well, he says he's part of the assembly. Did he not oh, say oh, that? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he said three times. Okay, no, no, no. okay, you pass it on. George is not an assembly pass member. Pass it on. I'll come to you. You are an assembly George member. George is not an assembly I'll member. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Okay. Hold on. Please pass it to him. All right. Easy. Please, he will get to speak as well, but you also have to be patient. Allow them to speak. He will tell us what okay, they are doing. Okay, Bella, you know, thank you very much for this opportunity. You know, I've been following you for some time now, and one thing that I accord you with is you don't allow fabricated lives. Anything that we speak here, you go back and you do your search. And that integrity is what I give to you. Thank you. So I know what I'm going to say you will go back and then you, you will go and check. There was an engagement here. Please get it close to your mouth. There, so was, there was an engagement here. Okay. Some few weeks ago. Uh -huh. the, uh, our honorable MC made a statement that the Anchor Central, they've constructed 143 kilometers of roads in Gas Central. So that is tarred roads. I want to do my findings and checks. The entire Gas Central. We are having 208 kilometers of route. So when you deduct the 143 out of the 200 and something, you are, they've done, let's say, 70%. And as we speak now, when you go around our communities here, the roads are in bad shapes. You can't, you can't even apply certain, certain parts of the roads. I'm speaking for concerned people who are applying the roads, drivers who are spending money to buy things, let's say, spare parts and stuff. And we know the carbon state of the economy and what people are going through. So I just wanted to speak to power, two to power, not because one joined any particular party, 
but we are speaking as citizens that we are concerned. And my concern is that if they've done 70% of our votes in Aina Soto, why are we still having that problems? And that is my, that's my issue. So we want, to, we want them to know. Now, when you go to a place like Kwashibu, a part of Anteku, you go to Awoshi, from Blue Kiosh down to, you see our roads. You go to Palestine roads, that leads to Bawe. Olebu, Agape, Abase, all these places are very bad. And people stay there. So Bella, I know what I'm saying. If it's, it's, it's not a truth, you go back and you go and, you go and see in very far. But what I'm saying, they know it's a truth. So my point is that, let's tell people the truth so that people will know what is happening. So we want the MPP and NDC. For me, as I said, I'm a citizen, a concerned citizen, and I'm speaking to that. So we don't have any good roads here. So no one should say anything that we have good roads here because what I'm saying, it is the mind of the people. Okay, when you say any good roads, that's quite vast because, again, the main roads are sure, fixed. So you sure. mean... Within the communities, they've not fixed the they've roads. They've not fixed that 70% okay. of the roads. All right. So. Let, let me let this man yes, respond. Uh, let me, let me come in before okay. he will come in. Oh, you okay. know, as an immediate past presiding Hold member, on. when you talk about assembly, at least I think, I think I know a bit about it. I've been three times assembly member. Okay. My brother, what my brother was saying, uh, in, when you come to Gacentra Municipal Assembly, we have 405, 405 uh, kilometers of roads. So it's not 200 it's like he said. It's not 200. He has no fault. That's why he said he's just a community member. He doesn't know what he's but talking about. But he said about. he did his check. He's, he's, he doesn't know what I okay. am speaking as a former presiding Bella. member. Okay. Bella. So Bella. at least hold on, hold on, I, I'm just on, educating him. I'm just educating him. Okay, it's carry 405 on. kilometers of road. As of 2017, January 2017, there's 404 kilometers of road. Only 23 kilometers was uh, a tie. As I speak to you, by the good work of Nana Adodanko Ekufuadu and Dr. Babudu Bahomi, over over 147 kilometers of road are at various stages of completion. And I can, I can, I can Bella, tell Bella, you from Bella, this, all the Bella, roads are here. The pictures Bella, are here. Bella, you can see, this is, we have Antiepu Road, we okay. have a, a Kwashibu Bella. Road, we have Sotum, we have Kum Hotel, we have Chantan Road, we have Tabora Road, we have Tabora Road, okay. we have Seminar okay, Road, wait, we wait. have Kisra Road. I can go on and on and on and on. Hold on. So maybe he lives at a certain part of the, right. the constituency. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. When it comes to success of road, NDC can never compare themselves to anything that NDC Let, let me done. tell you something. Easy. Bella. Easy. Bella. Just in case you don't know, I've lived in Ablekuma before. Yes. It's one of the areas I've always complained about yes, when yes. it comes to yes, roads. Yes, I know you are to live I've I been, know. I've been upset about it. Yes. So I had to even move yes, out. Yes. Because I didn't understand why the roads were this bad. As I speak to you. What are I you doing about you. that, for example? As I, as I speak to you, the Agape Main Road contractor is on site working. As I speak to you, the new town Ablekuma Road contractors are on site. He knows. When, when did the contractors come on site? As I, I, about two months ago, contractors months. are on site. You can go and but, check. But, but you why have, the have you waited this long? Let me What's tell the you. Reason? I'm coming. I'm coming. The Fourth Republic. The Fourth Republic. The Fourth Republic. The Fourth Republic started in. Listen. Hold on. Bella, you see for yourself. Bella, Hold on. People. I miss you what they My are job people here is to ask These the question. They are all people. If you are not happy with it, you can come in later and speak. But I'm asking him why it has taken long. There's nothing wrong with that. Please answer. Yeah, like I was saying, you are talking about, I, I told you, we have over 400 kilometers of road. Up until 2017, it was only 23 kilometers that was tied. As I speak to you, you now, see? we have over 147 kilometers of road, of Bella. which of which, as I speak to you, Olebu Electoral Area, where I was the assembly member. Okay. When you go to the new town Abasi Road, contra three contractors are on site, as I speak to you. When you go to Agape Road, the gutters are almost complete. When you go to the... So you mean it's ongoing? It's ongoing. Okay, that is why I said, that is why I said, their work is ongoing. Unfortunately for them, okay. the fourth, the, the fourth... Rec my MC is here. My MC is here. Okay. The MC is here. So maybe right. you will talk to him about that. All right. Bella, Please Bella, allow him to Bella. sit. Hello, sir. Thank you for coming. Please have a seat. Bella. Bella. All right. Bella. Hold on. Hold on. Bella, just hold a on. minute. A minute. You see, you know, what, what he was saying, Bella, he was talking about, const I was talking about constructed roads. Uh -huh. You know, this simple thing. 
when you say you've constructed 143 kilometers of road, it means that it is done. But when it is ongoing, you don't say that the road has been constructed. As you go to Abase right now, go to Abase. If you don't right start, now, can if you complete? Whether there, there is anything you see in Abase. Tell me one road that end is started. Whether there's, there's any road, good roads here. Tell me. So my brother will continue on that. All right. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's let him also speak because he says he's an assembly member. Okay, the MC himself the is MC here. The MC is here, so but you allow him. Yes, no problem, him, no but problem. But allow, allow him to speak first. Um. Silence, but, Mipacho, silence. Um. Okay, my name is Honorable Albert Kumsin. I am a member of the Gas Central um, Assembly. Uh, my brother, my two brothers, that is Adam and my countryman made a lot of allegations with regards to development in this constituency. Yes, um, my brother made mention of, you know, the, uh, 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 you know <laughs> Allah, 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 it is part of it. It is part of it. You know, he made mention of our, 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 our bad roads, but my senior man has already answered him. But okay. I would want to, you know, make addendum to that. Look, when you consider even this enclave, you could see that the roads over here are tarred. These roads wait, were done wait, by the hold MPP. On. Hold on, hold on. Which, which enclave are you talking about? The main road? I'm talking about... The, when you the, take the, the turn... Yes. From here, from, from, from the junction, to the market, from Jason to police station, from Zona Council I to Antioch. Road road. All these roads have been made. You should, you can, I used you can the send. I from the junction. I took the right at the junction probably, to come here. Probably, right? probably, probably. Hello. In front of this edifice. Hello. Okay. Probably you do not take keen observation okay. of the routes. Okay. Yeah? But you can send your drones right away to check from police station to Antioch. Those roads have been made. From Antioch to Sotium, those roads have been laid. Okay. From 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 Farmok, from Farmok to Sotium, those roads have been made. You understand? From Kwashiman, from from Kwashiman to Afanko, it's been asphalted. From Chantan roads, go to go to Tabora, our Tabora roads, go and check. You know, the game is evidence. What we are seeing that the game is evidence. You can send your drones right away to All check. Right. So what we are saying is that we have done so well, like my brother said. All right. Go to Onyanase, it's been asphalted. Okay. Right away. What we are saying is that, eh, like my brother said, when the MPP took over in 2017, eh, less than 30 kilometers of 405 kilometers had been made. Even with that, that 23 kilometers, eh, those roads were done during Kufuwa's era. Okay. We cannot mention one road. That was done during the era of John, Jonathan Mills and John Damani Mahama. So the MPP eh, always work in the benefit of the people of Anya Sotio. All right. With regards to, with regards please to, learn from me, please, uh -huh. with regards to the allegations um, Adam made when, when, when my, when my good boss was in office, every year we ensure that that those traffic lights on this stretch are being serviced. Until recent times that we had intels which pinpoints some of our brothers here that they are behind, you know, destroying some of these traffic lights. As why, we speak, why, why as, would they want as to we destroy? speak, as we speak, as we speak, as we speak, as we speak, within this week, within week, within this week, within this week, the evidences that have been gathered by the police service would put my brother and his colleagues before court for the destruction of this traffic Why lights. Why would they destroy the traffic lights? For light? their own reasons. For their own reasons. They destroy the traffic lights. They come back here to be making some wild allegations that we are not taking care, we are not servicing the traffic lights. Meanwhile, they are behind that. So as I speak with you, my brother, within this week, the police has gathered evidence and intelligence to put him before court. To put who, Adam? My brother, yes. He's not aware of that. Okay, let, let them respond and then please give the microphone to MC. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm very happy. And, and please listen, we have a microphone here as well. 
If you also have any problem, you can go and stand there in the meantime. We'll let you speak. Some of you here will pass the microphone on to you. Please go. I'm happy the MC for the Gun Central Assembly is here. I'm happy the MC for Gun Central Assembly is here. We are arguing about the road network in Anyaso too. Bella, from Awoshi, Awoshi to the Pokwasi Highway, that road was, con was constructed by the NDC government. Awoshi, Awoshi to the Pokwasi Highway was constructed by the NDC government. When you go to Kwashimu, Kwashiman, to Ofanko Road, it was also constructed by the NDC government. The MC is here. He can bear witness to all what I'm saying. The inner roads. We have a bad road network in Anyaso too. We have a very bad road network. I have your document, which was written by the MC and signed by the former PM. And that document, he addressed the challenges in Anyaso too as the road network in Anyaso too. These are the challenges he addressed. So you want him to respond to it? Let me add before he responds. Let me okay. add before he responds. The terminal, this very terminal where we are seated, and then the adjoining roads, uh -huh. is a component. So this particular place was built by the NDC. And even the roads in front was built by the NDC. Now, 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 let me state emphatically, let me state emphatically that when our brother here became the PM, that was when he came to do partitioning here for this polyclinic. This facility was not built by the MPP. All the road networks you see by the NDC. There's another component, which is the building of the market, which we, we couldn't do and were ousted from power. And it has remained null and void. The today. market has not been done. Yes, it's not been done. Okay. So this road here is part of this component. Okay. I remember the contractor who did this. This time, crew guys, they came to construct it, and it was part of it. All right. If they say they did this road, it is a part of Let the MC respond. Yeah. No, and then the, the, the MC just came into office for a few months. There are some, most of the things he does in Vimeo. Yeah, be Bella, you Bella. Before, 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 the, before, so the MC, no, before the MC comes in, before we're talking about road, when they saw that they've been defeated, they've moved to the no, terminal. No, 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 at no, At least, no, no, at no, least, no, no, no. we are at this no, terminal. No, no, no. When you close, Bella. go and check the plaque, the plaque there, and see <laughs> what is on it. Uh, uh, you know, they want to be credited Bella. with something. At least, they did 30% of this very facility. No doubt about that. But the MPP came to power okay. and completed the 70%. If they completed this place, if they didn't, go and check the plaque Allow there. the MC to talk, and then everybody else will come in. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Please keep quiet so that we can hear from the MC. Hold on. Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. For the sake of those who are watching, kindly introduce yourself. Yes, uh, my name is Ambrose Edward Chega. I'm the MC for Gun Central Minister. How long have you been the MC here? Uh, well, it's about, um, let's see, less than a year. But I mean, okay. I'm, my party is in power, so. You've been uh, in the assembly yes, for I how many years assembly. as well? I've been in the assembly since we came to power. Okay. Mm. All right. Now, a, a lot of challenges have been raised here. Okay. From traffic lights mm -hmm. to the road network. Okay. In fact, this gentleman here is challenging the 144 kilometers, 143 kilometers of road that was said to have been constructed within the Ga Central Municipality. So I wanted to respond to that. Okay. Is it really true? Because he says the total mm -hmm. um, road network within the municipality is 207 or so. Okay. And so if you say you've done 143, that means about 70% thereabout. Yeah. And yet... The inner roads have not been done. So okay. what are you waiting for? And then if you can address the traffic light situation as well. Okay. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, let me say that, uh, Bella, on this very light note, please, um, anytime you are coming, you are welcome to the constituency, but anytime you are coming, try to let me know the uh, proper organization of the program. Because I was told you were going to do a documentary and not to engage like oh, this. That okay. is why I, I, I didn't, so I had to rush from somewhere. Apologies, to, whoever okay. gave you that message probably got it wrong because yes. we've always said it's yes. a community manifesto yes. engagement. So that's on the side. Uh, Bella, um, the gentleman just mentioned that before we came to power, we had just two third routes. That is the route from uh, Awoshi to Pukwasi and then the one from Kwashibu to Ofako. That 
tad. This one was a complete package that was gone. The Kwashibu one was just tad. So those were the two roads in the municipality. Nothing more, nothing else. The rest of the roads in the municipality and even adjoining municipalities were done by us. And as we speak, they are caught. See, they have not poured a single gravel of road at Kwashibu. Now, we are doing Kwashibu. You can go and check right now. We are doing Kwashibu. Three contractors are at Kwashibu. We are doing Abase. We are doing Agape. Okay. And we, we are doing Pentecost, PUC. We are doing, please, Onyinase is being done. So, hold on, hold on. So, they know, they know, they know that not, they didn't do a single kilometer of road, inner road in, a, in, in the municipality. So, yes. No, but Babo year was the Awashi to um, Pokwase yes. constructed. That's that was the only that, one, that was the only one we did. did. They did. And the Kwashibu to Afanko. That was that. We asphalted. That asphalted, not that. They just put gaffo. But we came to asphalt it from Kwashibu all the way to Ofanko. Okay. Now, let's address... How many kilometers of From road do we have within this municipality? How many kilometers of road do we have within the Gans Central Municipality? And how many have you people been able to do so far? Oh, we have done more than half. Um, I think the figure is about 405 kilometers. So his 207 is wrong? Is that what you're saying? Because he says 207. He, he, he doesn't know his fact. So he should come. Some of the, for some of the areas that were earmarked for roads, they even didn't know. We had to go and do the initial road cutting for that to be accessible. That's why he's not getting his facts right. Okay. So. Okay, please carry on. Okay, so some of the roads, we are doing it. And they, they don't even have an idea the number of bus culverts that we constructed to link roads in the municipality. Ask them if they even constructed one, one single one bus culvert. They never. That is why in the past. Uh, please, 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 please. When. We came, you, you could remember this whole municipality, every time there was flood, every time there was flood. That is why we took the opportunity to make sure that we channel all these uh, uh, drains by constructing box coverage to channel the roads, uh, the rivers, or the flowing waters into the Lafa River. So it is there. We have constructed a lot of them. But you're not giving me a, a specific number because is, oh, it, is it really the 144? You know, to, you'd rather not mention. If I want to count, they are here. They are in the book. Okay. They are here. I can mention a lot. They are here. Okay. They are here. The evidence is there. You see, me, when I speak, I speak with evidence. Okay. The name of the game is evidence. Okay. Then this is not a green book. All right. And you are still you know constructing what? more? Just, just last week, just last week, I met a resident association at an area. And then they told me that they wanted a road constructed. And then one of the residents told me that, oh, that road is in the book, green book has been done. You see? So I said, ah, but if it is a green book has been done, how do you want me to come and construct? These are the lies. These are the lies. So we know what we've done. Okay, now let's go to traffic lights and street lights. Yes, because traffic that's light been and a street lights. Problem as well. I'll tell you this morning when I was coming, from Awoshi Junction until I took the 10 here, they were all not working. Yes, it's true. Why? Um, Bella, you see, just like my brother just said, these, these are things that we've picked up. Um, I believe my colleague was telling you about the demonstration that happened just last uh, Friday or Thursday. Yes, I followed it. Yes, um, we have picked intel that these control theft and these cable theft were, were, were intentional. And um, I don't know the reason for that. But Why you say intentional? Well, Who are I don't you pointing know. fingers at? I, I cannot point fingers He at says that he, the police well, have picked intelligence. Well, that is the NDC. Well, the it. police have picked intelligence. Is it so the NDC? Is that what you also I, I have wouldn't been, say that. been told? Uh, please, so the police will work on it. Okay. And, and we are working on it. As, as a leader, I met them. And I asked them to give me two individuals who will go with me uh -huh. to the urban roads head office on, on Tuesday. That's tomorrow. Okay. To see because they have placed on, you know, the cost of repairing this traffic light is the same as the cost of putting up a new one. So when you put the controls and they keep on stealing it, it's just like you putting up a new traffic light. Well, 
So During it the is unfortunate. Sorry yes. to cut you. But they said that the traffic lights uh -huh. have not worked since after the 2020 elections. Is that true? Hold on. Hold on. But your boss is here. I'm asking him. Let him respond. Easy. That is not true. So when did the traffic lights stop working? That is not true. When were you informed? Madam, it's been occasional, okay? Sometimes, I, I, I know that they've replaced, they've replaced the controls a couple of times. And I'm told these controls, those who steal them, sorry, but I don't know about your station, but some of them are sold to some of the radio stations. I don't know for what. Well, those are allegations. Those are we allegations. So, okay. I mean, we are also trying to see how to protect these controls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, they've given you a week to fix the, the traffic lights and the, the street lights as well. Per the demonstration that happened about four days ago. Mm -hmm. What are you doing as an assembly about it? Beyond well, sending we, them to we, the urban roads to see what you we, can do. We have been working on it before the demonstration. Okay. We have been working seriously. I mean, there was a time one of the stations came to me and I told them that they have to give me up to the end of the month. And I, I stood by my word. Okay. When this uh, guys when they came, I told them they should give me up to the end of the month. So, okay. I mean, we are working on it. If it is not because of the demonstration, that is what made me work on it. You know, there were falling gantries even at Pentecost, mm -hmm. Pentecost Junction. Mm -hmm. I led a team to remove them because it was uh, 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 something that was not good. So I led a team to remove them, and all these things are being done. Okay. As for the, the street light, the table kept. We have to look at. I mean, it is, it is not within our municipality alone. This runs from Awoshi, no, from uh, Bayad, mm -hmm. all, all the, the way. way. Yeah. And then they, they have taken off the cables in bits and pieces. Okay. So, well, that so is the you challenge. said they should give it to the end of the month to fix it. Oh, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Another thing, I'm sure you're probably privy to the law. I probably should have informed you earlier. But Adam, Adam right? Yes, my name is Adam. Adam here I'll is be a unit for committee the member. Anyway. Yes. So he says that. He's been a unit committee member since 2010. 2010. 2010. But then you renewed in 2023. Yes. 2023 December. He has not been sworn in and he doesn't understand why. Uh, it, per the law, what is the swearing in process like and why has he not been sworn in? Well, I don't know what he's referring to because we, we, were, we swore them in and they decided to walk out. And it's their right. So they walked out. Well, did they give you reasons why they no. were walking out? No. Okay. So they, well, I said, okay, leave Did you them. try to judge out with their side to that is, that get is, an understanding? That is what I didn't understand because there was no time. I decided, okay, let's swear them in. And they, they staged a workout that they wouldn't want to be sworn in. And uh, I don't know the reason, but uh, it's their right. Who's job, to whose job is it to swear in? Is it the MC? Is it the presiding members or the magistrate? No, the MC can do that. The MC can do that. Yes. But he's yes. also saying, per the law, that's not it. Yes, please, 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 please. Please, we are having an intellectual discourse, please. It's yes. not about shouting. We have the Oath Act. Uh -huh. So you can check from the Oath Act, Act 20. You can check from it whether the MC is part of it. So it's not about him coming to say that I can do it. That's why I still insist that 2010 till date, magistrates. I have sent even copies to what happened at KMA and other areas to the mm. MCD. There were magistrates that came to swear them in. The MCEs were even present. So by law, we should tell us where exactly it tells us that, whether it's an EI or something that says that they should. You, if you, and if let you me have your please, phone here, I would have wished that someone would me, pull up that law. Let I don't me, have my phone. Let me say this. Let so me say this. Please, please let me say this before you continue. There are standing orders for the zonal council, for the swearing in of the unit committees. Ask them whether they fulfilled it. That day, I raised issues about the standing orders. We had to be informed, we had to be written to for the inaugural meetings to happen. They flattered all. And you're here saying that you don't know the reason. That means that, you see? That means that if I have been a unit committee member, I don't contend his MC issue. Because one day I also aspire to be the MC. The issue is that you might not know. People will direct you. If you didn't know, we raised the issue that day. You could have gone back to check. So that was what we resisted that. You have not written to us. The assemblyman making noise. Anytime they want to invite them for a meeting. Former MC is here, Dr. Lamte. His turn, during his tenure, we had ourselves sworn into office. It was the magistrate that came to do it. Dr. Lamte didn't do it. Do you get it? And so they flouted all these things and we raised an eyebrow. 
to this that this is what you have done. That is not coterminous with the rules and regulations. Okay. So go and come back. So if he says he didn't know why we boycotted it, it's a palpable lie. All right. All right. Now I want to pass the microphone around so that people can speak. There's also one here. Is there anybody? Me pacha mwa mo pesa mo kan in seme hamo wahani na ano. I'll give the microphone to the former MC. But uwa uwa bibi kan me pacha. I don't know why people are insisting on this English, but. Let, 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 let him, Bella, let, hold on. I have an issue, I want to. Okay, hold on. I think the MC wants to just read You see, we are showing you evidence of one assembly that the acting MC, who is the preside, uh, the coordinating director, okay. swore in the unit committee members. Okay. It, it is there. It says so, that the inaugural, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 okay. wait, wait. So, so hold on, oh. hold on, hold on. Let me look at it and see. So, okay, to witness such, the inaugural swearing-in ceremony held on Wednesday, 20th March, 2024, at the Kodia Methodist. It was led by the district's coordinating director, Mrs. Yvonne Nabu, where 19 unit committee members and 14 area councillors took the oath. What I'm trying to see is, I, I wish I could, because it doesn't say, it doesn't say that the MC was the one. Yes. That. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I, I was hoping I'll see that. No. We, we can check. We still can check. Okay. I mean, my producers that, are that also checking. They, they should check. Okay. These are standard practice okay. that we do. Listen. These Please are standard on. practice and procedural administrative work that we do. Okay. The coordinating director, in the absence of the MC, he acts okay. as the head of the assembly, so okay. he can do that. The MC can equally do that. And you see, he's talking about a, a, a formation of zonal councils. If we don't swear you in, how do you form the zonal councils? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. Let, let's speak to Doc. Okay. Um, Doc, hold on. Doc, Professor, I'm sorry. I've, I've known him as Doc, so that's why I've called him that. Professor, thank you for joining us. How are you doing? You're most welcome. All right. So, so speak to us as well. A number of issues have been raised. You were the MC at a point. What were the main issues that were coming to you? Okay. Just so we can see you. Before leaving office, what were some of the major issues that community members brought before you? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for the question. Um, Anya Soto. When you look at Anya Soto, it's a low-lying area. So anytime there is a rain, most of the adjoining districts, almost all the rain come and passes through the constituency or the municipality. And when you are constructing road, in order to sustain the road for a long period of time, there are certain things that need to be done. Okay. One has to be with the drain, has to be with the culverts. If the culverts and the drains are not done and you do a road, you are just wasting your time. Yeah. Secondly, the roads have been partitioned into categories. So we have a first class road, second class road, and a third class road. When you are constructing road, you are target to do the first class road. Okay. Where it's assumed that the first class road, almost a, a, a certain number of the people apply the first class road before you go to the secondary, secondary road and the tertiary road. So if you look at the Nyansoto with the issue of the flooding, we have done a lot of coverts. Okay. Almost all the various electoral areas, we have done a lot of coverts. When the coverts are done, then the drains are done. Yeah. Then it means that you are ushering in for the rules to be done. Those are the things that we have done. And they have given the statistics. The 405 kilometers of road that we met in 2017, they mentioned only 33 kilometers had been done, including that of the um, uh, back to to Pokwaje, and and that one, that road, that road, was part of the arrangement Kufo did, but unfortunately the party lost election, so NDC came to power and they did that particular road. But the financial arrangement and everything was done by Kufo, and as part of that road, that is where this market terminal was was done and also the the anglican anglican school they were all done as part of the road 
construction. This was not done by an individual or assembly. It was done as part of the construction. What we did, what we did, there was a, pl a clinic there. We had to buy equipment. We have to partition and make it functional so that the clinic will work. Aside, aside what we have done in terms of road and other things, there are so many things that we have done. And before I left office, in addition to the 33 kilometers of road that NDC had done before we came to power, we added over 120 kilometers of road. But because of COVID, some of the contractors were not forthcoming. When I left office, most of them have come. We talk about the Tabora Road that we asphalted. We talk about the Kwashi, Kwashiman to Ofanko Road that was asphalted. Even the Tabora Road, Alaji, is supposed to link that of Suotum. Then when we finish, we're supposed to do the NIC to Gonse Road. The um, Agape Road. Agape Road was an issue. That was why it delayed. But luckily enough, when the MC came to office, they have started doing that particular road. And also, Abase, Abase, we have done that particular road there. We have even done a hospital, which was almost 85% complete when I left office. Which hospital? Is it part of Agenda 111? Or this is a separate... No, 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 no. no. It hospital? wasn't part of... Which hospital is it? Hospital. Complete hospital. 85% At complete where? before I left office. At where? So, has it been completed now? I don't know the sector since I left office. I'm not there to check. Okay, but the MC is here. Is this the hospital? Bella. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You want, you want to talk on this issue? Yes, I'll let him. Hold, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So, so, this is the current state of the hospital? When? Okay. When we will check. Oh, hello, Bella. Hold on. This project was started Hold by the NDC and they abandoned this project. Hold on. Hold this is on. the project. This is the evidence. This is the evidence. Yep. This is the evidence. This is the evidence. Is it the same thing? It was, yeah, this very project. Okay, a you let, let, the, let Prof finish. Okay. Uh, is it to the evidence? The evidence to, is here. To give, to, gi to give, to give credit, to give credit to the NDC. They made arrangements for the land, acquisition of the land. Okay. But even that land was not paid. After we came to, we came to office, the chiefs and other people came that the land that they, made, they gave to the NDC, they are not being paid. So we have to make an arrangement to pay for the land. So we have to give credit for them for making arrangements for the land okay. to be made. You look here, just behind you. Uh -huh. Just behind you. Uh -huh. We have put up a fire station. Okay. The fire station is there. Just, just behind this building. Behind oh, okay. A sorry building fire station. We have put the fire station. When, when did you put it up? When, when was it constructed? The fire station. Yes. When I came to office, when and you I came. Did, yes. So it's complete and in use. Yes. Okay. It's in use. Okay. Just, just across the road, we bought, we bought, we bought land, and we are the first assembly within Ghana. That used their own money to put up one district, one factory. Is this the, the in, bottle? Inclu including equipment this and everything. Yes. Okay. So how many people have you employed in this factory? It is yet to be commissioned. Oh, yet to be. Yes. I have not finished. Yes, please carry so, on. So, so, so. Okay, we'll what, go around. Don't what, worry. What we also did, we bought a facility at Kwashibu and we used it at a municipal clinic. Okay. Municipal clinic. Okay. So that facility is there. Our plan for the hospital that we put up at Abase, we bought a storage building with 13 bedrooms, and the intention is that we wanted to run a specialized service for the Anyasoto constituency. So, so the paramedics, the, the residents that we bought, we were thinking of hosting the paramedics as okay. a resident for the paramedics, okay. so that we we'll run a specialized service for Anyasoto constituency. That one too is you there. Done it. 
Okay, all right. I believe you are done so that we can let everybody else. There are so many things that we but, have done, yes, but okay. for the sake of time, all the right. rest let, let the community people also speak. Bella, Bella, hello. Bella, hello. Bella, we need to talk. Bella, <laughs> please, uh, let, me, let me say this. Bella, before, before the car, let me say this. Talk on this issue. Even, okay. even, even in this municipality, we please have given them. an astro -tef. The last time I told them, we don't do green book, we do evidence based. Okay. If you have a drone, fly it right now okay. to see the hospital All project. Right. Fly it to see the astro -tef. Okay. Fly it to see people Thank working you. at Thank the, you, at the, at the, at the Thank you, factory. I need a community to speak, but you want yeah, to just we, touch we on something. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bella, this part, this particular hospital project at Abasi, this hospital was the land was acquired by the NDC government. Oh, easy. So we can hear what he's saying. The okay, the same hospital that the former yes, NDC is talking about. Uh huh. The land was acquired by the NDC government, and uh -huh. the structure was put up by Honorable Aristo, the former MC. Okay, this what year? What year was it? 2016. 2016. So 2016, they had roofed, yes. you had roofed it and yes, everything. 2016. 2016. Okay. And they've abandoned this project. This project has been abandoned by the MPP. So this project, 2016. 2016. 2016. So this is the one at Abia, Abiasi. Abasi. Is Abasi. Yes, Abasi. Okay, you con NDC constructed NDC. it. Yeah, but Bella, they said Bella. you only got the land. We acquired the land uh -huh. and we put up the structure and the market. So, so yeah. they've included it this in their the pool. market. Bella, Bella. This is the market. And the market has been abandoned by the MPP government. I'm, I'm on the hold floor. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This market has also been abandoned by the MPP government. Where, where is this it's market? It's also at Abasi, closer Abasi. to the hospital. Okay, okay. Closer to the hospital. Let me show you. We have a cheap compound. This is a cheap compound. Atolebu. Atolebu. Okay. And this cheap compound, the land was acquired by the NDC government. This structure was put up by the NDC government. And currently, the side chick of this PM, the oh. former PM, hold on please. Oh. The side chick of hold the on. PM is leaving the structure. She's li someone is living yes. in the chip this compound. Rate, yes. You have given this structure. You have to evidence to show that there's I have evidence, yes. I we went there this morning before coming. And someone lives in this. Three families may, are living in this structure. And his side chick is living in this structure. He was then the assembly member for Olebu. Okay. This is the structure. Can he deny it? Okay. This is the structure. Madam, Can you deny Madam, it? My name has been mentioned, so it will just so be fair. Please, please, I'll I'll I want to add. I want to add. Please, I want to just add. briefly, the so fire, that everybody else The can fire come. service, it was started during Aristo's tenure. It was an assembly member called Obimpe who tried as much as he could because they were selling the lands. Obimpe stood in and took it and started the project. So the assembly paid him. That was during Aristo's tenure of office. When was Honorable this? Honorable Obimpe. He was assembly member for Anya and I was How a many unit years committee. Ago? What year was that? 2010. He was assembly member in 20, uh, 2010. So it was 2012 that he started that project. Honorable Joseph Obimpe. Did he complete it? He started it. Okay. And assembly took over uh -huh. during Aristo's tenure. That time, uh, the PM was Sheriff. I remember very well. So they paid him. It was around 200 and that, that time, 22 something thousand. He was paid. And then the NDC continued that project. Let's come back to the Abbasi. The Abbasi, myself and the current PM, we were the contractors that went to site. Uh, 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 billboards on that land. Is it the hospital? The, the hospital. hospital. Okay. And it was started during Aristo tenor. Now, when Dr. Lamte came in, Aristo is a uh, uh, MC for the NDC. When Dr. Lamte came in, even in his inaugural speech, he captured it. When he told us I was going to do sunflower something, oil and stuff. I remember, I still have the speech that he did. I still have it. He recognized that that building was over 85% complete. At Abasi, the market, the Abbasi market, too. the Abbasi market, the Abbasi, and then the Abbasi market. Now, let's come back. Let's come back. The astro they are talking of. The astro they are talking of. Good, they did the astro The astro is locked. It is locked. They say they can't find the funds. They don't know where the money is going to. The last time they checked, 
It was only 90 Ghana cities in it. But the crack, 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 crack. Agenda okay. 111, 15 acre land, and there's no story building. All the buildings on it are flat. I mean, who okay. does that? Okay. Which engineer does that? All right, hold on. Which engineer does that? Let me, flat let me. Flat buildings. Which engineer does that? Okay. Over 15 acre. When the assembly is, the assembly is renting properties. Okay. The assembly is renting properties. Dr. Lamte has bought some buildings all over. If they had invested in, so that the urban roads is there, municipal health is there, health insurance is there, it would have saved us economic, eco economic use of the land. Okay. It's not there. And these people lie like, uh, they lie like Baumia. They allow, okay, so listen, please allow some people in the community to also speak so that they today can tell us what their problems are. Ah, uh, the chips compound. Hold on, I'll come to you. Oh, okay, Mr. Alote okay. is here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mr. Alote, hold on. They said your, your, they said your side chip. So let me respond. They said your side chip is yes, yes, the yes. chips compound. Yeah, thank you very much. Is thank it Thank you very much. Uh, let me, let me, uh, hello, Agu. let me, okay. let me, let me tell you something. Please, Alain, hold Agu. on. Uh, uh, Mr. Alote, oh, hold on. Oh, please Mr. Alote, hold on. hold on. I'll let you speak, okay? Please hold on. I am, uh, uh, Bella, Briefly, I, so that we can yeah, move yes, on. Yes, I am, I am happy. I am happy that the PC Alote runs away and he's back. Because he has seen that his people are being defeated in this co community engagement. So he has to come back. That is one. Secondly, secondly, secondly. No, he ran away. He was here. When we started, he ran away. Wait. And now when he saw that his people are getting lost, he has to come and rescue them. So Wait. this is a rescue mission. Wait. Okay. Oh, okay. wait, wait, wait. Secondly. Wait. I want you to yes, respond yes, I'm, to I'm that going, one. Yes, yes. You know what? You know what? As for... I beg you. Hello. Please relax. Hello. As for, as for my brothers from the NDC, even the air that we breathe, the air, the oxygen that we breathe. If you ask the NDC, they will say they, they started it. Bella, Bella, Bella. Everything good, they want to claim ownership of it. Oh, however, wait, however, wait, wait, there's, wait. No, there's no wait. iota, there's is no iota true? of truth in what you have said. So your and I want him there. to repeat okay. it because that I can take All it right. on. Wait, I go, I go. you cannot tell it me, hold on. It must be occupied wait, by NDC squatters. Wait, wait. Anna, Alate. Alate, hold on. I am going to give you the floor. But you cannot tell me what to do. I'm the one moderating. And I've given you a signal that I'll let you speak. Just take your time. I want the rest of the community to also tell us what their problem is. Then I'll come to you. Easy, easy. I'll give you time. I promise. I'll give you time. Please. But let this man speak. He's been standing there for a while. Wait. He's also a community member. Wait. Mr. Alote, I'll let you speak. Okay. This man here, I don't think he represents any party. Mr. Alote, easy, I'll come to you. Okay, please. Talk to me. All right, so, um, my name is Ni. Um, All right, so my name is Ni. And then, I'm a graphic designer. I don't know whether you are listening. It's rather unfortunate that when we, we have opportunity to say our problems in the community, then we rather use it for politics and then the time goes and then even we will not have anything to say. Now, I stand to be corrected. I want to cite some of the problems. First of all, I want to ask where we are, this, this, this ground, there is a clinic here. I want to ask if the generator, if they have a generator or if it is working or if they have a generator, you can send one of your people to check. If this clinic has a generator, that one I just want to know. Uh, and then secondly, and then secondly, I want to find out if the ambulance that is there, if the ambulance also moves or if it is working. I just want to find out. Is there a reason you are asking about yes, those two? Has yes, something there are, happened? There are reasons. There are reasons because we brought uh, somebody here. We brought a patient here. They were taking care of the patient, then the lights went off. They told us emphatically that they don't have any generator and then there, there are no lights. So they couldn't do anything. And they asked us to take the person to work away. We asked for the uh, ambulance. That was too, it was not working. The so ambulance was wasn't working. Moved. Yes, it never moved. So we just want to find out if it is not working, they should do something about it. But that's all we are asking. Okay. There's someone, Madam, hold on. I think there's a queue. You have to join the queue. There's a queue. Okay, okay. You, you two, what's your name and what's your problem? My, my name is Asenfu Froba. 
uh, Bella, when you came here, the NDC can attest to the fact that some of your members told us to go around. They provided us with a car so that we can go around and take pictures of the projects that um, we've done or the projects within the municipality. The MPP were ready. Nicodemusly, the NDC went and then informed the, the guy who came to us that they are not ready to go. And, uh, the, I mean, we, oh. we, we didn't go. So, no, my question no, is... it's not true. My, my, it's Bella, not true. Bella, Bella, let me, let me finish. No. Bella, let me finish. Bella, let me finish. My producer is here. Bella, Bella, let me finish. He says it's not true. Bella, let me finish. Let me finish, please. Please, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. When we, we, we were talking about this project, this particular project, concerning the uh, polyclinic. The issue is that I want to ask the NDC. They claim that they, they were the one who built the polyclinic. At the time that they were leaving office, how many nurses were working here? This project was completed by the NPP, and we brought the nurses. We made the project functional. So therefore, for the NDC to come here and, and spill lies, that they constructed this project is neither here nor there. Okay. There's a road project going on currently at Ablekuma, at Ablekuma, going to Joma, and then um, Paradise. So for the NDC, they, know, they have no project to lay hands on in this constituency. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So, so before you talk, let me just say that. So my producer says that statement is a lie. Nobody from any of the parties came to tell him he cannot go. So we didn't have a card. We were waiting for a card from the office, which is why we could not go and record. So no party member came to tell us anything. Boss, what's your name? Okay, Bella, thank you very much. My name is K. Yeboa, an indigen, a native of this area. I've stayed in Anya Market for over 20 years. I think none of them here has stayed in Anya Market the number of years that I have been here. And uh, Nana Dudankwa Ekufuado and Dr. Mamudu Baumia has given us one district, one factory in Anya Market here. The MCE is here. The former MCE who supervised the construction of that one district, one factory, is also here. Please, I'm asking the current MCE, when is he going to open that one district, one factory for some of us who are not working to also go and work? Anya Market people, if you are here, the one district, that one factory is what okay. I'm talking about All at right. Plus B. Question okay. number two. Thank you. Question number two. Number two. Oh, you have a question again. No, question okay. number two. The, my number two question is, Palace Town Road, Palace Town Road, uh -huh. and now Palace Town Road. It hasn't been constructed. In fact, it is a bad road. I want to ask the current MC, since he's the government representative, are they going to do so something about it? Because currently, Nana Dudankwa Ekufuado and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has given us district road improvement program of one car, uh, one, one equipment okay. to construct every road. Are they going to do something about it for right. us during Thank this election? You. Thank you very now, much. Now, let me come to the parliamentary candidate representing the NDC in this area. Mr. Emmanuel Adote Alote, so he can speak to us. Thank you so much Ago, for coming. Ago, Ago. Mr. Emmanuel, Mr. Ago, Ago. Ahanyadi, you, first of all, hello. First of all, I want to make it clear that I understand the program from TV3. That is about community manifesto. But I believe every constituency has arrowhead. Currently, I lead the NDC in terms of the one contesting to go to parliament. So I was ready as the arrowhead to lead the team. I was equally expecting that the arrowhead for the MPP was also sit here. And that's the reason why I got up. But I'm ever ready to lead and to speak on behalf of the party and the constituency. Now, I go. I go. Now. I go. So, I am, I am very much surprised that my own brother, Adjodhia, is saying that my people are not doing very well. In fact, my people are doing very well. They are responding to all the questions very well. Please, I beg you. I'm surprised Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. But we all know.
that it took a young NDC man, it took a young NDC man to defeat you, George, with a gap of oh. 1,000 votes. MPP, why? So how can why? we why? be afraid of the MPP? So my only point is that my Wait. people are doing very Abbasa, well. Hold on. Please. No. 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 You cannot do this. I beg you. Let's allow everybody to speak. Allow everybody to speak. Okay. Allow, yes, but allow him to speak. No, 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 no. Allow him to speak, please. Please carry on. Hold on, hold on. So, so Bella, 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 I think, I think I made, I made an emphatic statement that oh. every, carry on, carry that on. every party has the arrowhead. Where is the arrowhead? He cannot stand the heat. That is the reason why I insist myself. Of course, like minded will debate like minded. So if George, George is saying that we don't respect, if they respect, where is the arrowhead? Okay. So I'm ready. But on this note, my people are doing very well. My brother Adam is doing very well. Raphael is doing very well. Patrick is doing very well. And they are matching them boot for boot. They are exposing their lies in the constituency. The people in this area, they know the challenges that we are all going through. They know the things that are not around. We can all see and testify to the fact that if you go to Agape Pentecost electoral area, they have major drug challenge. They have drainage challenge. They have schools challenge. If you move to Ablekumani town, Abbasem, they have challenges. If you move to Ablekumani, they have challenges. So if they sit here and tell us that their government is doing so much, we want to see what the government has done. If really you have worked, you don't need former MCE, current MCE, assemblymen to come and talk. If you have done it, everybody can see the work that you have done on the ground. So if really they have a candidate who can speak on their behalf, the candidate should come and sit down and face me and let's address okay. the community as to how things are going. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now let me explain something. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me explain. There be Okay. So what I want to say and I want you to understand. MPP listen. So this is community manifesto. This is community manifesto. Now the whole idea of community manifesto is to allow the people who live here to speak their mind. So this is not a debate between MPP and NDC. So you, are, you live in this community, which is why you are here. We respect that you've come. But the owner doesn't lie on the other leader to come necessarily. Okay, if he wants to come, that's fine. If not, we are not here to do campaign. We are here to let them speak on the problems they have. So for you, as a parliamentary candidate, what are some of the main problems that you intend to fix if you should come to power? So thank you very much. Bella, I began by saying that... I began, I began by saying that I understand the nature of your program. I don't dispute that. I know. But I'm saying that every party has what? Arrowhead. We are in a lesson here. So where is their arrowhead? Who is supposed to spearhead and speak on their behalf? You see, the man is sticking out. He has run away. It, it tells you two things. That he himself is not competent. And the party, and the party, and the party has not done anything in this area. So that is the reason why he cannot stand. He's not competent. The party has done nothing. Okay. Then hold on, hold on. Now so, you have asked me. Yeah, I asked you a question. Please respond to that. Hello, hello. Hello! You have, asked me, you have asked me the question. That what is the agenda on the side of the NDC for the people of Anyasoto? Number one. Number one. Number one. We want to fix their road and drainage challenges that we have in the area. We want to ensure that the challenges 
There are people at Agape Pentecost electoral area. They are bad road network. They have very challenges. When we get to Agape Mami in Kren, when we get to Agape Gonsel, when we get to Dior Catholic area, when we get to Market, they have bad roads, they don't have drainages, they are suffering. Our agenda is to spearhead and lead for all those roads to be fixed. When we get to the area, like Olebu electoral area, where George was defeated, he was embarrassed. There are road challenges. Ablakuma Newtown, Ablakuma Base, Ablakuma Vicolis area, Pito Junction, Pito area. We want to fix their roads, fix their gutter for them, so that the people can have a good environment to live in. When we get to Ablakuma Farmer, the road from Ablakuma Farmer Junction to Omanjo, we want to fix it. The road from the road that leads to Templot, we want to fix it. Agbaje and Avicii, we want to fix it. So the agenda is to fix the bad roads in Anya's hotel, which our people are here telling lies. We want to fix it. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. We know there are challenges in Anya's hotel in terms of what? Education. We want to set up educational fund to support education. Number three, most of our, our youth in the area do not have jobs. And that is the reason why we want everybody to listen. We are going to tap into John Dramani Mohammed's 24 hour economy. Okay. Where more jobs will be created to help the youth to find jobs to do. Okay. Most of the youth in this area, in all the 30 electoral areas, but they, said, they said they've done one district, one factory. They are yet to commission. So will that also be able to address the job Bella, issues? Bella, Bella, I, Bella, I'm coming. I am so happy that I am not debating. How we are not just talking. You are a journalist. You have your correspondence. You have people. Let them take you to the 1D1F. They, they have a there. picture no, no, here. No, 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 Where, where is this again? Yeah. Bella, do not take the book. You've not seen it. There's nothing there. There's nothing. There's nothing, Bella. There's nothing. They said it's a, you've never, you've not, it's not there. It's not there. So, Bella, Bella, I am begging you. Carry your camera, carry, carry your cameraman, your microphone, we'll your go people, there. and go there. We'll go there. They said evidence base. We'll go there. They want to copy from John Dramani Mohammed Ibn Bis. Let's go there. But I'm talking about the 24 hour economy, which will allow three shift work. The three shift work is eight hours day, eight hours afternoon to evening, eight hours evening to dawn. That will get more jobs for the youth okay. in the last world too. Okay. John Dramani Mohammed, listen, listen. Please. Have an agenda. Have an agenda for the women in the last world too. The women in the last world too. They want to establish the National Development Bank for the women. Okay. To support the women traders. All the right. And the market women. Okay. The Chanta market women. All right. The, the La Paz market women to support their trade business. Okay. That is, those are the agenda we have for the area. All right. Let me go Bella. back to the community. Okay. You want to speak? And then after that, I'll come to you. Okay. Please. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm Sefas from uh, Okaman East Ward area. Thank God my assemblyman is here. I want to put it before him. Please Since keep quiet so we can hear, I beg you. Please allow him to speak. So I want to ask my assemblyman and the MC here that uh, since when are they coming to fix the gutter in my area? Flood is catching the people. Oh, wait. Which, which area are you? Okay. Hold on, hold on. The microphone is off. Okay, you let him use this one then. Hold on. Use this one. Is it working? Yes, Karen. Can you hear him? Can you hear him? Okay, talk. From Sojaman, uh, from uh, St. Joseph Church. Down to so, uh, so Chaman Street. They flat over there. Everything, if there is a little drop of rain, 
Fred catches people. I took a video and sent it to their, uh, their Nazara coordinator. But, but, but then it was their uh, MC, Mr. Bashiru, Honorable Bashiru. Uh -huh. and for, he asked me to forward the video to their coordinator. I forwarded it to the coordinator since last year when we were doing the registration at the Anya, uh, the Soto, from, from the Soto. Up to now, nothing has been done. Okay. Just recently, a fire, there was a fire outbreak in one of my members' house. Uh -huh. When they sent the video to the assemblyman, he responded that, that there was no fund, there was no support from the assembly or from, from anyone. From anyone. They brought the video to him. He hit the nine. But, but I, I, I came to him. I, I came to him for several occasions on, the, on our border and stuff. He, he told me there is no money. Say now there is a death. There, there, there is thief. Okay. In the area. All right. Madam Pacho. Madam, you can talk. Okay. Oh, please keep quiet. Hold on, please. Let her talk. She has been waiting please, for a while. Please, I have two comments to make. Okay. And one is, please, next time, if something like this is going to organize, we beg, if you want the PCs to be engaged, let them know so that they all come. And then one, another one, twist. You said community. Yeah. Not everyone here understands English. You understand? Yes, so please, if you said community, if you said... It was a community. We have tomato seller here. We have uh, oko seller here. We have banana seller here. They all like to hear. So please engage them. So that they let's speak the dialogue. That they all understand. And then too, they were saying something about the um, traffic lights. He said he called your PC. He said he won't come. My colleague here. Did you give him an invite? He called him. No. He's here. Did you he give called him, him. An, an official he invite? He called him to come. Yes. Did you give yes. him an official he invite? Did. He said he did. He is an official person, so if you have to give him an official invite. You understand? Because on the platform, on the page that I saw, on the flyer, the persons were not there. It wasn't an official. So it should be an official invite. Okay, and then let us let us make a dialogue for everyone to understand. And then today, set up about the traffic light. It was this year at school dancing. It was this year that we saw that it was not working. It was the four years. Yes, thank you. Hello, hello. Please, 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 let me talk, no, let me not. talk, no, no please, it is our thing, it is our thing. Pacho, Munyedi, Munyedi. You don't want anybody to talk, oh. Why are you doing that? It's okay. It's okay. Hello. I think we shouldn't be surprised when the MPPs are asking our PC to go because they themselves were able to sack their PC because of common English. What's your That's problem? It. What's your problem in this My area? problem is, why are they here as the sole contractors? of the project they are showing to us and they don't have it in their phone. Physical picture, why are they showing a photo shoot? In Ghana, they are the people who started photo shoot. Telling NDC, everything NDC is showing is photo shoot. And today, we are implementing the same thing. Having the same book, showing us book. Where everybody can put a picture, be patient. Now, they bought the land at Ablikuma. Joma, Ablikuma, Joma. And where is that land? 
Where is the project they are doing? The, the, you, you said they bought land. Who? They bought land. At the assembly. Yes, the assembly. What did they buy? What did they buy the land for? They bought it for assembly. Oh, for the and assembly. Now, that land, yes, it is very pushy. It has become a forest. They become pushy. I want to ask them question. What? It's because hey 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 land that has taken the land from them because they do not use the proper way to acquire that land so Langa has taken the land from them and they can't do anything and they are here bragging that they have a land the Langa has taken the land from them okay. so ask them did they use the proper way to acquire that land all right thank you show us one the, uh, uh, where is the one district one factor in this concept in which co co in which uh, area or what can they tell us where the one district one factory is okay. in this community? But the people here, everyone here, there is all the community. There is one person from that community. So they should tell her. They ask her, we don't want book. Okay. We don't want book. Okay. They should give us one person. Okay. Please talk. Hello. We understand. Hello, sir. Please talk. This. Hello. This opportunity. This opportunity is not there for us every day. TV3. TV. TV3 TV is not. It's not a community state, it's a community TV. TV3 is a station that is internationally acclaimed. And we have the opportunity that TV3 is here to come and ask us our problem. And look at our elders, they are misbehaving as if there is no tomorrow. Instead of us telling us, they should tell us what they've been able to do in eight years. We've not given them power yesterday. And we've not given them power three days today. We have given them power eight years. And the only way they talk to us is we are doing this. We are doing this. This thing is on a project. This thing is here. And today that we have TV3, who has come here to come and ask reasonable people what is happening in our community. They've taken over and they are shouting and they are misbehaving. And none of them, none of them here can tell you for a fact. None of them here has their wife and their children here. They are here, and they, they pay people to come and sit here, to come and shout. It's all of the problem that they have to solve. They are not solving the problem. If you ask them that where is the one million per one year, they will tell you it is not there. One million, one million for seven years is seven million dollars. The seven millions can do something. But if you ask them, they will tell you we are doing this. We are doing this. Today it is the time for them to tell us exactly where the project are so that some of us can go and look for the project and then talk about it but you can come and tell us with a book that where you refer to the same book some time ago that that book is just a photoshop and you are telling us we should go and take your photoshop and look at the project how are we going to see the project if you are not coming from the areas so they are probably they are lying because they don't have the project that is what they will do but if you ask them that they have project, definitely they will come point to where the project are one after the All other. Right. Thank but they're you. not pointing out to the project. They're Thank only you, talking sir. about it. Thank as you. If, as, if, as if election is about talk, it's about book, it's about what you have written in the book. But it is about the community, it's about the problem of the community. All right. So that we can know that you have been the best. This guy has not done well. Yeah. Here we are, some of us didn't know our MP. We don't know our MPs. You've never seen your MP. We don't know the people. 
their account to ask us to do But they have to take advantage of this to come and tell us so that some of their people will get to know them. But look at it. They are all not right. here. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. No, hold on. Please let the community people speak. Good afternoon. My name is Isala Najib. Youth Committee member at New York and West Lecture Area. My community my matters. My community matters to me the most because I'm, I'm a youth committee member. For 24 years, MPP has been ruling this constituency for 24 years. Now we have a major battle that stretches from Israel Lomlava towards Living Spring, Tabora. Going towards this course, it's a major gutter. For 24 years, this, this political part has never had not been able to do anything about it. Nothing for 24 years. And now, what about us is that when we start to start about it? And second, there's a perfect metal pervert along the Living Spring School, metal pervert road. And the road is the second class road. We have a, a, a government appointee over there who has not done anything about it. He has built a house over there. The metal pavement is just over there. It has spots. Right by that road, it's a second class road. Cars are, cars are, are, are passing there, but they have not done anything about it. So I'm asking, what are they going to do for us? Start. We also stand and start. MPP MP has done something for us when they are in power as MPs. And also, with our incoming MP, which is Alote, what I want to say is that people are fed up with what's going on in this electoral area or this constituency. They are saying that MPP has taken us for granted. MPP has taken us as fools. So they are going to put their trust in him. So it's come and work for them. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Hello, sir. Bella, Bella, yes, Bella, um, Bella. Thank you very much for the opportunity given to me. My question is that um, I will be very happy that whenever TV3 is about to organize program like this, you go around to take the views of the citizens. So that when someone comes to sit here and tell you that this is what I've done, this is what is ongoing. You cannot testify and then say something. Let me use this example. You see, if I have started a program and I almost complete the program like 85 percent, and I'm voted out, and you come to complete that program the 15 percent, and then you take cam cameras or pictures and come here and tell me that you have done it, I have nothing to say because underground checks have not been done. Excuse me to, to, to say this. You see, um, I heard someone says, and I quote, that thanks be to Nanado Danko Akufuado that at least people can speak English. And I can testify that those people here who are saying it, they have gone to We are all enough to come and be deceiving ourselves. And then the last thing to say is that we are working for the citizens. And we should stop the lies. It's not going to help us. It's not going to take us anywhere. Thank you. See, 2024 is part of the eight years. Pamacho, I had a dick at a mess ramo. Pamacho, me pamacho, I had a dick at a dick at a pamacho, I had a dick at a mess ramo. Eh, Madame Pacho, Munya, Madame, Madame Pacho, who friends say community Yamakadi, a high end pamacho, mess ramo, me bunko to be. Mira Hopa, because Patoti, see me, see me. Me, me, Maka MP Pini and this Yasa. What's your community, Meboa? Fine. Madam, last week, last week, Nipa Tre and a car bomb. Oh, no movie. Ever traffic, we are saying. So, Mombedia dancer, Bedia dancer, they know it. Pato, Mesrao. 
NDC for by net traffic is say one more year. Transform a BC, aha. Transform a BC, ha. But I mean your politics, Miss Row. Me and your politics, Row. Yeah, transform a BC, maybe I had 2016. I caught nine years in it. Say, transform a Nesian, Yama, traffic, and all. I say almost a year. And this name, people, bar, no more tiny Ness war, now say. What are you making? Your poor one. For any. For Koshe, it's what I say. I call almost five years. Street Bob, who can I end to 20? And so, Tio, aha, hospital, yes, 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 second total. So, sir, and now who can suck quiet? See your politics in it. Yeah, mommy, Tio, Tio, me, Nippon, Wabra, Yenim. What I say, Nippon, Wabra, Yenim. And now, who could you, who can copy the pet? Nagana, that politics. I don't know, Yabra Baco. Oh, yeah, do it. Nayere, Carbon. Who calls good dancing? Traffic has so almost five years. Oh, be to me, yeah. Timmy says, Sa MP pini ndi si fui ayete hey omo he omo wan e no bo betu abe ya mo ana to the same on bella on bella campaign on bella politics traffic in one year ya timen fo ya ma kwa momo to abo hada MP pini ndi si ya kete mo play makata makata when i'm down there in person eh eh sa 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 so when i'm down when i'm down you do that Please, please. I go. Let me ask it. We have a person who is president of the United States. I go. I go. I go. I go. I go. I why I got this and Sana or the quota and a busu? A BMB free, a Biasequan, and also no, why I look at a car, the Biam the car, and I'm one who it is a mini or Cassa or Cassa, yet a Juman as a Bia community, a Juman Yadia, Miss Mia community, the better than three years in me, Medicana, and Musa, Sequan Yade, Yaya, it is Opa, Yapo, and Bessemer Quachiano, a Dujan Fiquan. Almost 95%. You go up now. Okay. It's your opa, I say. Wafa. I do that for one year. Wafa. Wafa. It's your patch, I say. Aha, what's in all? Who need that dream? Bia, Bia, you okay? That's the idea, mommy. A duo. Nagana program. No. Oh, yes. A mini street light. Same. Boba. Street light. Street light. No more canoe. Ah. Street light. No more canoe. Calculate me post street light metal form. I bet I off what I say. Eighteen Pashima, dear me, man in the Baya day. I say, no, my I say, no, my ATM is a problem near day. Obukrati can post street light, no, not a form. Menoka say, a year juma. In Tinkofon, I'm driving on my problem, no. Are you saying, sir, or more driving on my problem? I'm not sure, sir, problem, and also can't have a problem, no. Car for both street is a street. Light network for my problem. Okay. Make sure I have a car. Omo ye, omo ye light ibu o. I wish market o. Car ko boom. Adna car ko boom na down mono. Car ko boom na down. I go first be pay jadi ane koi. Iti ano ya pay ane say why. Iti no. I say ekwan men 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 never be a maker. But ekwan omo kandi ane make sure say me two million chilo si. Anya brofu sam ni ayawa. Car brofu make car brofu. But but I do get a few coins. Every piece, farm make them. We use our money for ano. The patrol team. I do get a few. I go far heaven church. So to heaven church. On my two legs. I go every piece farm. We use our money for ano. So I should not go break my. I go break my. So I oduma, joma, manya. I go on so I go. What I say? I go on so I go on so I dey. On my. It is not that in Syria. Me me di money say. Now to be pan or crayon or mess in a minute. Now, Mr. McCon, watch them. Matty Medassi, the patch also Cassa. Hello, 
Yeah, my name is Daniel Felix. I'm a unit committee member in this electoral area. Um, I'm highly, highly, highly disappointed in the MC who has been chosen over here. Why am I saying that? Um, uh, this place is a polyclinic. And it, I make sure I mobilize people around here to sweep up this place. Anytime they sweep this place, where they place their bola is an issue. It's an issue. This program was supposed to be done at the market there. But I noticed that the bola has been a wise thing over there. You see, my assemblyman is performing very well. Anytime if I call him, Felix, I'm going to you know, inform the PM so that you also um, uh, talk to the MC. But still nothing goes on. Secondly, there are bushes around here. If you are going to cross the road, unless you stretch your leg before. You see? So, you know what I did? I take a video of it and I put, we have a platform called Consent Citizen. So, I place it on the Consent Citizen. You see? So, nothing was done. Unless, glory be to God, there is a pastor called Uncle Ajimai. Uncle Ajimai. May God bless him very so much. He mobilized his church members to the streets to win all those places. But this is the case that I'm sure the man will be saying that he has, a con uh, he has given the contract to the prisoners to read the place. Meanwhile, it's a lie. It's a lie. So hopefully you both should tell him something for me. All right, thank you. I'll let you come in to respond shortly, but let me just go to him. Thank you so much. Please, I wish... Oh, the, uh, the PC of the NDC is on the seat here. I just wanted to ask him just a question. Yes, because he was saying that he's a, he's a credible man having a PhD and the rest. That our PC is not, uh, doesn't have a degree. My question goes to you. You, as the co-host, the, the topic was community engagement and the women's. We, we are here. Anybody who is willing a political attack must also vote involved in this, uh, in this communication, if we be aware of it. So why do you engage the politicians in this communication? You must suppose to go to outside there, for you to go and do your own investigation and find out whatever is going on in the community. Out of the 13, out of 13 electoral areas, we have only three areas that you have the challenge, but now they are on, they are on it. Apart from the Agape and the rest, they are just doing the work. The traffic that they are talking about, it was the NDC person who caused that damage over there. I just wanted to tell you. So the damage of the traffic was to the NDC person. And you know that person. That caused that damage. Do you know that person? So you must supposed to be, you see, so when things are have to be engaged, you have to do your own personal investigation. Make sure that things are in the work. So I want my brother, if my brother is here, I can just ask him just one question. But suppose he's not here, I'll to keep my question. I'll ask him that question whenever I meet him. So for let's just say he's ready to come on any debate that will come on, he'll be able to well, come. I'm ready for him. Until, he can, the, police service, until the Ghana you. Police Service puts out a report indicating that it is an NDC person, I'll just take your statement as an allegation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Please. I'm talking to driver. I'm talking to a Hospital there, but you will be able to help them. Or here, ambulance there for hospital. You know, any other job. But you who don't see it, you see what they are doing. But I'm talking about the American and the Hindu people. Mate, me patch. I also cast an MC in Brim. Okay. The ambulance is working. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll let the MC respond, but boss, please speak. Hello. Yeah. Um. Boss, talk, my, talk, talk. Yeah, my name is Jacob Asiedu. 
Um, I want to say something small, but I don't want to be too political. The reason being is that, um, you know, this back and forth thing that we are doing here today is solely about making comparison between the two parties, what both parties have done. When you compare NDC and you compare MPP, what the NDC have been able to do and what the MPP too have been able to do. Looking at the two political parties, I know where the NDC started from and where they left, uh, where, where they left it and where the MPP also took it from and then where they have, uh, they have got into. I have to be frank. It's not about me being an MPP. I have to be sincere to you. I'm with the MPP, but I have to be straightforward. When uh, Honorable uh, Emmanuel Lamte, Dr. Lamte, came into office, I'm telling you, the community changed within a twinkle of an eye. Please, please, allow me to talk. There are certain things this man came to do. As it stands now, we are benefiting from them. I'm coming, I'm coming. You, the NDC people, emphasizes on certain things. One of them is the Abasi uh, Hospital, the hospital which is 85 or 90 percent done. Secondly, there are inner roads, there are inner roads and culverts, drainages that this man came to do, followed by Honorable Bashiru, right to our Honorable uh, uh, Chiga, Ambu Chiga. Honestly speaking, the MPP has turned this constituency around. I'm telling you, please, 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 allow me to talk, please, allow me to talk. We give you opportunities to talk, so why don't you allow me to talk? Please carry on. One of them is, now, currently, 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 What I'm trying to say is that what I'm trying to what I'm trying to what I'm trying Master. to say is that now we were having a big challenge at Ablekuma Papaya. This challenge has been there since NDC time. You know when you get to Papaya 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 Junction, there is a lane or there is a route to Agape Down or to Mahamekai. Those areas, even to Agape Agape Evan. And one thing we have done is that. This thing has been there, or this cover, some small cover too. It has been there since NDC time. When MPP came on power, before we'll be able to go to the next town, we need to pass Boko Boko, or we'll come and pass Pentecost Junction before we'll be able to go to that area. But when our chief executive came on power, they lobbied and now, as it stands now, that route has been done. Of course, I have to be sincere. You understand? See? We thank God. We thank God that. We thank God that. Ever since that covert was not done, we have never had any emergency moving from that that area to the mainstream to get an ambulance or to get a taxi and then rush somebody to the hospital. That's for that one. We thank God about that. But when the MPP government came on power, they did that. It's just a short place. When they did it, we were able to move. Vehicles are able to move, people are able to move here and there. And what I want to say is that now, currently, when you go to the Abbasi, whatever the MCs and the, uh, the opinion leaders have said, when you go to Abbasi currently, the road is, go is on ongoing. Okay. They have constructed it. And when you come to uh, New right. York and the other uh, areas, too, they are working on that place. All so, right. kudos to the MPP and the municipal assembly. They are thank you. All right. Thank you. So, so okay. Hold on. So I'll let you come in. A lot of issues have been raised. I wanted to respond to them. One of the other questions that they also wanted to find out is about the chips compound. And when Olebu chips compound, when that is also going to be worked on? Thank you. Uh, Bella, you see, uh, sometimes I get marvel. Uh, at one, po at one point, when we talked about one district, one ambulance service, they told us we are lying. Now, they are saying the ambulance is not working. So now they concede that there is an ambulance. But, but is it working? It's working. Okay. <laughs> it's working. Okay. But the ambulance is parked there. 
The ambulance hasn't moved every day. It is not like at the, the usual trotter. Okay. It is just here. Well, you know, there was an earlier gentleman who said his sister or something well, had a problem. I, and I don't know, but the ambulance is move. just here. You it's are, you never broken adjacent. down. No. It's been working. It's working. Okay. The hospital, they, they said, they, it, the hospital needs a generator. He's just saying it. It has, it has come to my attention from okay. here. So we are going to work on it. So, so the authorities at the hospital never came to you to complain about power challenges? No, because... Because we have ensured that there is always constant supply of power. Okay. So they, they don't have a problem with power. Okay. In fact, we have a dedicated uh, transformer to serve the hospital. All right. So if now they have a challenge, they will definitely bring it to my attention. Okay. And then one gentleman, my very good friend, Adam, was talking about the Abbasi Hospital. You see, they get confused. That place he's talking about is a chip compound at Olebu, which they put in the water log area. That is the hospital he's talking about. This hospital, Dr. Lapte is here. He, he's, he's the best person to tell you where he started and up to date where we have come, where it is now. So he's here. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do. And we have already showed you the issue on the, on the unit committee. It is there. Um, they also talk about what? The, um, so hold on. Hold on, hold on. So hold the chip on. compound they are talking about that is in the waterway. What have you done about it? Has it been pulled down? In the waterway you where? You mentioned that there's a chips compound that was in the waterway. So they it, put it up. So when you came into office, because it's in the waterway, clearly when it rains, flooding will be an issue. No. What have you done about it? You see, we will tried. Pull it down? We, we didn't want it to seem like we are putting down the uh, pulling down the the, the 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 hospital. Yes, that's it. No. This is the one that's in the waterway. Yes. Okay. It's, so it's, what it's, do you intend to do with it? Now what we want to do is to fill, try and fill the area and okay. to see if we can do some preservation. Because as it is now, it is not good for purpose. Is someone living there at the moment? No, no, no. I think there are there are squatters living inside. And you see people, there are squatters are living inside. Okay. Uh, so I, I don't I don't want to move them so that they they will accuse me of witch hunting. They, they also said this side. Your people are living in it. No, no, no. It's not true. So that's not true. It's not true. Okay. That that is that is that is that is far from the truth. Okay. And then Bella, you see, now this is the point again. We tell them there is a water bottling facility here, and they are telling us it is a lie. It is just five minutes walk from here, just across the street. Let's go for your people to take evidence. When, when do you intend to commission the water? Very factory? soon. You don't have a date yet. Very soon. Okay. We'll do it very soon. I, but but I you said there is nothing. Why are you day. asking us? You said there is nothing. Please, you said there is nothing. Why 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 are you just said in the committee? You said there is nothing. Okay. Uh -huh. And okay. the next issue was what? They, they are talking about markets as well what? in Abase. Market in Abase. They say you've abandoned the, it. it the was market built. in Abase. You know what? When we came to power, we tried to move. The, the, the people around oh, the people around public market to that market. Now that market, the the roof was done like a butterfly. So the market told the market women they told us that no, they cannot use it because their are west and everything will be at the uh, uh, yeah. on the sun and they can they cannot put put anything there. So. They have not agreed to go. We are even... They, they, they even started, and then they abandoned the place. They, are, they ran away. Because so, the roof wasn't done properly. Yes, it wasn't so, done properly. So, so why didn't you change the roof so that they can yes, move in? that is what we wanted to do. But on a second thought, we are even engaging the onion market. The, those who uh, uh, sell onions at, uh, is it Kotoku, to even come... So that we can all look at it. Ah, well, it's been it's been almost eight years old. Yes. So if you say you know right, you are still engaging. Everything. We, that, that's the, why I told the you that. The is left to rot. That is why I told you that the roads, the the initial contractor who was supposed to do that road, never showed up. The, that road was the contract was, was awarded when Doctor Lamte was around. He never showed up. I came in and I've chased for the contract to be terminated, re-awarded, as we speak now. That uh, uh, road is being done. So when it is done and accessibility is good, the market human will come. No, but you said it was the roof at one yes, point. Yes, I mean the but onion. I'm talking, talking about, about the onion. Okay. When we took them there, they told us, oh, let's 
try and do something so, about the so road. So for eight years, the structure has been there and used. The market women went there, and then they, they, they were using and then they go, went away. They said it's not fit for purpose. Hey. It's not fit for purpose. If you look at it, it is not in our book. So that's why we, tell, we told them that. Listen. So don't want to speak. Okay. Bella, I, I just want to give a clarification. You see, the, the, the roofing was bad. So, initially we wanted to remove everything and redo it. But a problem came up. The problem is that we have a hospital there. We have a market there. The two of them don't jive. Because if, if, if there is a hospital, it's a market close by. It's Doc, please continue. Please continue. Say, what, what, one, thing I, one thing I hate, one Patience. thing I hate in my life is lies. I gave credit when I was talking about the hospital. I gave credit that the NDC started by uh, negotiating for the land, but they didn't even pay for the land. The chiefs came back to me, and we have to make an arrangement for the land to be paid. The hospital, uh, the uh, market, yes, they did it. That one. No, no, fully completed, but they did it. The roofing was bad. So we're even thinking that, look, could the market be converted into something else? And we had had discussion with the people. We gave it a try. We moved the market people to go there. They started, within some few weeks, they abandoned the place. Two issues. One, when it rains, almost all the hours get. And secondly, because the place is within not not on the roadside for people to come and come and buy their wares. So they were also not patronizing the place. So we were thinking that, look, if we do the market, the people who work within the market may not be able to make the daily whatever. So as an assembly, can we think about converting it into something that will be in conformity with the hospital that we have put up there? That is the discussion. And it's not about doing the, 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 the roofing alone, because the roofing could be done within the space of few months. So you just absorb it into the hospital eventually? No. That's, that, that's what you're considering? Yes, that is what we are, that okay. is what we are thinking. All right. I'll let you guys respond to it, and then we can go. No, it's not all the issues they raise. I, well, I, I know there's a water problem. I'm surprised nobody even talked water about water. Water where? Water where? I'm surprised. Where? So hold on. Water where? Oh. <laughs> Anabu, I've lived here before. Doc knows. No, no, where? Doc knows. Where? Where? I lived at Olebu. Where? Olebu? Yes. Which I lived place? at Olebu, Capito, that side, for a while. No. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold See. on. I, you say you Better. know where I've lived in Olebu. I don't have water in the house. I buy water. Even till date. No. We still buy. Oh. No. That, we have gone to no, Ghana water. No, no, no. Let's not even no. argue Olebu, about this. Olebu have water. Have you seen Olebu have water? Oh. I've lived there Olebu before. have water. I have people, listen. I have people who still live in my house. Yes. They still buy water to no, this no. day. You're we have problem. registered with Ghana water for even water. It hasn't maybe come. Maybe they've disconnected. They, there on. is water in Olebu. Let's not argue. Let's not argue because I, I, I want I'm not saying it based on someone's. That what you are saying. It is my experience I'm telling you about. There is water in Olebu. Bella, we claim we put up the hospital at Abasi and the market. They claim they put up the building. But currently, when the former MC was speaking, he contradicted himself. Ask me why. We put up the, the structures for currently. But he's claiming they put up the current uh, hospital. We put. No, no. Hold on. Bella. The hospital at Abasi was, it was put up by and the NDC government. That is not true. That is not true. Government. That is not true. It's true. You know, that, that is, is not that, true. That's what we, we have told you. Go there, go, go and go see. There. It is not true. Okay. We put up the structure. There, was, there, okay. there are chiefs there. There are people there. Go and okay. check your fact. It is not Bella, true. Bella, Bella, on the roads, my, 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 my professor, so yes, it's up. very brief. My, my respected professor, I respect academy, so I respect him so much. When the MPP started the argument on the roads, they said the MDC left 23% of roads. When he also came, he said 33%. You see, you see, he said, 
He said, he said 33 kilometers of roads. But when uh, the former uh, presiding member, he said NDC only completed 23%. You see, and there's one thing that baffles me. Bella, when, when a road is ongoing, we don't say it is constructed. When a road is ongoing and you've done a certain percentage, it is, we don't say it is constructed. So you don't add those things to the constructed roads. Okay. So uh, that is my so point, and I just stand by it. So, so, why you so, okay. so, okay. so everything why you that you are saying here about the okay. roads here, it's a proper lie. And it is, it is, it is, it is a lie. And that is a Doc, fact. Doc was the one who said that Doc it was said, 33 kilometers yes, Doc of said, Yes, Doc said 33 kilometers of roads. But before Doc came in, before Doc came in, before Doc came in, they said it was 23%. Yes. But Doc came to clarify to say it's 33 kilometers. You get it? And that's what I'm telling them that. We are, I'm still standing about what I'm standing that. When the road is ongoing, we don't say it is constructed. Okay. I, I don't know I don't know whether that, that is an issue to my All people. Right. But All they are very respected people. And I want them to know something that is ongoing, it is not constructed. Yesterday, I went to Abbasi. Go to Abbasi Road. Respectfully, respectfully. It's, this Just go to Abbasi Road. So I don't, know, I don't know what, I don't know what the MCA the is saying. Was done by Come them. on. No, but it is very bad. Well, the okay. right. Bella, Bella. Was well, there was a question asked. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Annabelle. We're saying that whatever we did, we did we're done by them. Thank now, you. you see the direction is changing. All right. Yeah, there no well, direction well, is changing. It's, it's been quite there was a question about the last bot at Joma. There I was mean, a question about the land I, bought I, I at Joma. The people who live Plots this of land at Joma. To decide on who they are Plots going to of land bought at like Joma. I said, they didn't it's answer the battle that of better. the Emmanuels. So is it going to be the MPP retaining the seat with Elder Emmanuel Tobin? Or is it going to be the NDC taking over with Emmanuel Adote Alote? Elections is in December. And so until then, we'll continue to engage the communities to understand what their problems are. On that note, this has been Community Manifesto. Let your voice be heard. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. Yeah, I have to take well, you to this the... is where we wrap up. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs>